You are going to help us uh, to achieve what we desire as a people. privilege to work with the Ministry of Interior in Kenya. This conference offers a unique forum for productive interactions among African national identity management agencies, as well as potential transformative exchanges between these agencies and global experts from the identity and biometrics industry. I have been impressed by the latest identity management innovations on display and I believe that they constitute a significant indicator of this exposition's transformative potential. We consider sound identity management to be essential to the integrity of the state because we recognize its immediate implication for the effective management of our democracy, society, and the management of our economy as well. Good governance entails effective administration and efficient management of the economy by a legitimate government authorized through democratic elections. Accurate information about the population resident within our territory is absolutely indispensable. To validly constitute government, we need an accurate idea of how many voters, how many people, how have they voted, so that we can effectively deliver public services and make it possible for citizens to explore opportunities and also deliver public goods. The government also needs accurate information on essential attributes of citizens and other residents of a country in order to provide them with services and otherwise allocate resources for their benefit with a measure of efficiency and accuracy. Moreover, the provision of public services also depends on the deployment of personnel and associated resources throughout the country in such a manner that the purposes and objectives of government are realized to the utmost. Transactional efficiency in the provision of public as well as private goods and services depends on a capacity to establish the identity of agents and quickly and accurately. Kenya has established a strong track record of sound identity management practices anchored on a national population register that is underpinned by the maintenance of a shared fingerprint biometric system. The register captures the data of adult citizens, residents of, national, of foreign nationals, refugees, as well as other protected persons. Aside from this, Kenya also maintains a robust civil and vital statistics registration system. The government has instituted measures to ensure 100% registration of births and deaths by 2026. Article 12 of our Constitution sets out the entitlement of every citizen to rights, privileges, and benefits of citizenship, and to a Kenyan passport, and any document of registration or identification issued by the state to all our citizens. The state is therefore committed by implication to the full implementation of these clear constitutional provisions without any question or delay or any other excuse. In addition, these constitutional imperatives is aligned with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and more specifically SDG 16.9 under peace, justice and strong institutions to provide legal identity for all, including free birth registration. We are investing as a continent, and specifically as a country, 
about 30% of all our resources in education, training, and research. And because of that huge investment, we are developing a human capital. And about 30 million Africans join the labor market after undergoing various levels of education. I would ask that even as we develop the expertise around this field, even as we work with professionals and experts and designers, we have millions of young people, talented, tech savvy in our continent that can be trained, that can work with experts from the rest of the globe. And in a very short time, we should be able to not only do what Colin Howell is doing by Africans in Africa, but we can also begin the journey to export that talent to other parts of the world. We appreciate the investment and the opportunity to work with uh, others in our continent. And it is the, it's the right thing to do. It's also good for us to know that Africa is the continent of the future. By 2050, a quarter of the world's population will be living in Africa we will have developed a very big market. It is the youngest continent with a GDP of 3.5 trillion. We are currently consolidating as African leaders, we are consolidating Africa into a single market. In fact, through the Africa continental free trade area, Africa will be the largest single market by 2050 in the world. Any business person, any entrepreneur, any uh, technology provider, must know where the future is for you to begin to make the necessary investments and to begin to have the necessary network for you to have uh, yourself properly positioned in the continent of the future. And we will be open for business and we are looking for a win-win uh, uh, formula that will harness all our potentials build on the successes, build on best practice, and be able to support not just our continent, but to support uh, humanity in making sure that we have a secure, we have um, a, a, a prosperous uh, globe for us, for all of us to share.